This is Sherry Bracken. The Hawaii County Council is considering a resolution to scrap the request for proposals for a new waste-to-energy facility. This issue really deserves a broader, a better conversation. The Council's Agriculture, Water and Energy Sustainability Committee held a hearing on the measure on Tuesday, June 17th, and testifiers were in full support. On behalf of the citizens who will be impacted by the outcome of Mariconoy's waste reduction facility solicitation for decades to come, we applaud Councillor Willie for her willingness to bring forth this resolution. My fear is that we're really moving towards a feed the beast mentality. What do we do with the long-term challenge of addressing solid waste? Mayor Billy Kanoy unveiled his plan to deal with the island's trash in January. If we can turn that into a commodity and use it as a source of fuel and energy, now we're reducing our dependence on fossil fuel, reduce the importation of fossil fuels, we're creating more energy sustainability at home. The pressure is on the administration to come up with something. Time is running out on the useful life of the Hilo landfill. Bottom line is, what do we want? We want uh, to explore all technologies, waste reduction technologies and options. Uh, but people have to prove to all of you who, are, who will make the ultimate decision uh, in terms of a resolution or a contract approval, is we want to see that you've operated your proposed technology for a period of three years. We will not be a demonstration project. This beautiful special island that all of us privileged to call home uh, will not serve as guinea pigs for any project, any proposal. At the time, the council seemed to be on the same page as the mayor. This did come up, we're moving in a direction, and I'm just afraid. But the current resolution, introduced by Kohala Councilwoman Margaret Willey, urges the administration to withdraw the RFP and issue a new one that will allow for companies that will, in turn, maximize the output of compostables. I appreciate Mayor Kanoy's desire to move forward on this and address it. Um, but at the same time, I think that um, translating his broad open statements narrative um, really did not translate down into the details uh, of the request for proposals, the RFP. One of the testifiers in Kona was former County Councilman Kelly Greenwell. He was frustrated by the county's lack of action on alternatives to incineration. The process currently envisioned waste to energy will require the entire island's waste stream in order to operate at a level of efficiency needed to justify its cost. North Kohala-based engineer Margaret Chang offered a thorough examination of the county's waste and its potential value as a resource. That we strongly recommend that the facilities be established to segregate our waste as described and that education be encouraged to convey the importance of separating poisons from fuels from life-giving compostable green and organic waste. Kristen Kubat testified several months ago on the same issue. And I have spent the better part of the last three years of my life coming between people in trash cans here on Hawaii Island. She was back again on Tuesday with more focused remarks. We need to start over. If we want a resource-based approach, this RFP does not do it. Thank you. Right now, there are three companies in the running for the waste to energy contract. All three specialize in garbage incineration. They are Covanta Energy Corporation, which operates H-Power in Honolulu, Green Conversion Systems Incorporated, and Waste Management Incorporated, the same company behind the proposed $125 million wheel abrader incinerator that was nixed by the council in 2008. Are we being far-sighted? And I look, okay, this is going to be 10, 20, probably 30-year decision probably a multi-million dollar decision, and where are we going? Um, and I look you know, around the world, a little talk to people, particularly people I met in California, that are going, you know, that's old technology, that mass burn. We'll have more from this hearing all week here on Big Island Video News.